Hi, Andrews Cole Stephanie here. Here in my basement, I get a lot of questions from people asking me how to teach them how to do a death growl. Um, man, I really wish I could teach you guys how to do a death growl. Uh, all I know is I worked on it for a long time. I spent a lot of painful, bleeding throat hours uh, working on it and eventually it just happened um. you just gotta keep working on it and uh, if you're a teenager you know your throat's still gonna be developing over the you know until you're an adult so uh, I wouldn't go out of your way to ruin your voice too too early in your life because who knows what kind of damage it can it can do. Um, my only advice is just take it easy and be persistent. Though, uh, when you feel your throat starting to hurt, stop and then wait till it's not. Don't don't death growl if you if you're sick. If you got a cold and all that stuff, and of course that kind of goes with singing, screaming, yelling, all of that too, but um, make sure your band members know that it, if your throat's hurting, you're going to stop singing whether they piss and moan about it or not, okay? Because uh, if you throw your, your voice out, you're going to have to let it heal, and then you're going to start all over again, and it'll be, uh, you know, a few weeks. It happens happened to me all the time. Um so keep that in mind uh this particular question came from uh, mega master killer 666 so um you know uh, when i when i death growl it doesn't come from up here it comes from from down here in the in the gut you know it's not like a cookie monster growl where you go and um yeah, and the shape of your mouth can change the way it sounds too. You know, uh, a white. <coughs> so you just gotta kind of play around with it and experiment, and everybody's voice will end up different. You know, um, Johnny Hartman or Smokey Hobo. God, I love that name, Smokey Hobo. What's the story with with naming Slipknot? What was the significance? Did everybody like the name? Uh, yeah, everybody liked the name, otherwise we wouldn't have gone with it. Uh, Slipknot was the name of a song that I, I wrote in the basement sessions before we were called the Slipknot. And really, it has, it has a lot to do with my, the way I, my, my mind works, you know. Um, hey, I just got a text message. Anyway, uh, I have pretty crazy ADHD. My brain's just kind of constantly going like this, easily distracted. I'm all over the place. And that's kind of what it was like, a slipknot in my mind. Whenever I think I'm getting my hands around something, it just disappears. Um, so that, that was what the idea of the slipknot name was, uh, or the title of the song. And it didn't really have anything to do with the lyrics. Uh, it was just part of the disconnected way my mind worked. So, uh, and when it, it's not something we discussed as a band, we went with what it sounded like and how it felt rather than what it meant. You know, there are guys that thought a slipknot meant like a noose, and not a noose. It's it's a it's a knot that comes undone when pulled too tight. So. Uh, Smokey Hobo, um, thank you very much. Uh, I've gotten that question a lot, uh, so hopefully everybody catches that. All right, now, uh, wow, there's a whole bunch of them on this one. The Same Every Time, that's the name here on this, The Same Every Time. Okay, got some questions for you. Now, one. Now, after you told us everything about crows, what about the basement sessions? How did they find their way onto the internet? I don't know. Somebody just thought, ooh, an old Slipknot thing. I could make some money, maybe. Put them online. Uh, 
And do you have a developed version of Wise Up? No. I don't have a developed version of any of those songs other than Slept Not and Gently. Um, it's really fun to listen to it. Well, I'm, I'm glad, you, glad you enjoyed it. It was uh, a whole lot of not knowing what the hell we were really doing, especially on my end. Uh, it was coming from Body Pit where I was all just death growl and screaming and trying to figure out what kind of vocals to put on this thing because prior to that I was a drummer so um, I'm glad I'm glad you enjoy that but uh, nothing else has ever been uh, taken from that unless Slipknot's done that in a song and I and it's gotten past me so that which is always possible um, two what is Slipknot's opinion about Painface? I don't know I know Corey is excited to hear it um, and uh, do I think there's a chance one of the Slipknot members will ever visit a Painface game? Uh, probably not, just because they get swamped with people. You know, I don't want them to come to one of our shows because uh, last time Corey was at a Vice Grip Throttle show, uh, he he was at the bar while we were playing. He was watching from the bar, and everybody was around Corey. So, um, you know, that they're not they're probably not going to come come out in the public too easily they do they do get swamped with people so uh just like every other celebrity you know um are there any uh any songs with Quan singing that i have and i, I answered in the last one Quan was never a singer uh not as far as any of our music is concerned i don't know if he did any moonlighting as a lounge singer or something on the side, but uh, I haven't seen Quan in a long time. He was just, he's a real nice guy. One of the, he, he never, you could never f find him without a smile on his face, so. Um, how many Slipknot demo songs do I exactly own? I don't know. I can get my hands on any of them if I need to, except for the ones that are missing Fur, This Queen, Rights and Rage. Wave Like the Pope. I don't have those, but I think pretty much all the other ones, for the most part, I can get my hands on, but that's coming off the internet where everybody else already has them anyhow. So, uh, And I do have uh, Lust, Disease, and Nature, those two songs, and I don't think anybody else has those. Don't start bugging me about those yet because uh, I don't know what I'm doing with those. Um, do I like the uh, new wave of British heavy metal and Iron Maiden? I love Iron Maiden. Uh, the new wave of British heavy metal, do you mean like Def Leppard and all that stuff? Uh, I was really into that, into that style back in the early 80s, but you know most of that to me is still there. Uh, Iron Maiden has always been awesome to me, so um, I, do, I do like... I can say, yeah, I like the new wave of British heavy metal. Um, do I still like it? I don't really listen to much of it anymore, but that doesn't mean I don't like it. Um, do I have contact with the YouTube channel I Can't Smell You? Because he knows much about you and my time in Slipknot as well. Uh, no, I don't. I think I sent this person an email and, and I didn't get an answer back. Um, so if I Can't Smell You watches this, send me an email. Let me know who you are. I'm just curious. Um, all right, so we're moving right along. Thank you th for all of those questions from uh, <laughs> the same every time. Man, that's hard to read. All right. T-E-H-S-K uh, has posted a comment on my channel. When was the last time I played Werewolf the Apocalypse? I'm guessing around 1996. It's been a while. Um... It was a, a fun thing to do, and probably one of the funnest group games I've ever played, or games that requires other more than one person. Um, and I would uh, I would definitely play it again if I found enough people that wanted to do it. But the thing is, is when I start playing that thing, let's say we started about seven o'clock in the evening, we'd go till two or three in the morning, and uh, that's a long that's a long time to be sitting and playing the same thing. All right, I'm going to cut this one short here. Um, i got to get the band rehearsal. 
want to thank everybody for sending me your questions. Make sure you keep sending them in if you have them. Uh, once again, I'm uh, taking questions for Pain Face members also, and I'll actually have them come in here and answer them on here as well, or answer them on their own webcams. Uh, if, uh, if anybody has uh, any questions for, uh, well, I'll just leave that one alone. Um, Anders Colsefni at gmail.com uh, is the easiest way to get these to me. Otherwise, uh, you guys have a great week, and I'll, uh, I'll see you on the next one. Anders out. <laughs>